Breaking news this afternoon for Silver Bullet Mines. How are you today, Peter Clausey? I'm happy. I'm happy. It's three years to get here, and we're here, so I'm happy. Zone one results, where do we start? All along, we've been telling people that we're going to go around the treasure room, drift along the vein to get to the target that was targeted in 1969. We did it. We put out the high-grade numbers that we said we were going to put out took a 40-ton bulk sample and processed it at our mill in less time than we thought it would take and came out with stupendous numbers uh, out of the concentrates. So we are very, very happy that we've been able to get this done for the shareholders, which means the next big step is full-time production. So what does that mean for an investor or a shareholder, a potential shareholder that's going silver bullet? We've seen this Peter Causey guy around before. What does this actually mean? If you can just dumb it down a little bit for us, for someone who might be new to the silver interest, silver sector. A producing company trades as a function of its cash flow, usually. We're not in cash flow yet. We hope to be soon. So until then, you trade on your news. You trade on your goodwill. And you trade on what you're promising people you will do. And we are promising people that we will be pouring Doré bars in the near future. And that's a saleable product. So if we're, produce, if, we're, if we're producing and selling, one would think that would have an impact upon the stock. So, of course, you sent me a video here today that you were right. very excited about that we're running here in the corner of your screen. Can you also uh, explain to people out there who are going, what is that? What's going on here? Tell us what's going on. So when the old timers would pan for gold and silver, they had a pan in their hand and the pan would have rills in the bottom. And when they shake the pan, the heavier stuff falls to the bottom. The water goes out and then they pick the gold and the silver out of the pan. That shaker table is a larger version of the same concept. After the material is crushed, after it's been through the concentrators, it goes onto the shaker table. And that video, oh, that's beautiful, is a video of the shaker table. And it is literally shaking. And that white line you see, that's silver. And that was uh, assayed at about 340 ounces per ton. Not grams, ounces per ton, which is a little more than 11,000 grams. So that line, that little white line on the shaker table is a beautiful thing. So for shareholders who were out there, you're probably going, okay, this is very exciting. We have higher grade silver than perhaps anticipated. Well, we went to work without a 43101. So we internally knew what numbers we were looking for, but it was difficult for us to, to communi communicate that to the market because 43101 gets in the way. We have stayed well within the disclosure rules. So now we can start telling people about our exciting grades. And 24 ounces of silver and a ton of rock is a very exciting grade. So what should we be looking for next? We just had these amazing results, culmination of three years. Production is has started, correct? It was a 40-ton bulk sample. So if you want to call that the start of production, or we're going to take more material out of zone one, truck it to the mine, and produce out of that. You know, production is a tricky word, um, depending on what you include as production. But we have a vein that runs for almost two miles. It will take us years to mine that out. And I, we'll get the trucks in, haul the material to our wholly owned mill, seven miles away, and, and process the silver. All of our costs have been sunk already, right? We've rehabilitated the mine, don't need capital for that. We've built the mill, don't need capital for that. So almost all of the expenses going forward are operating expenses directly related to the production of the silver, which means in theory, our cash flow should be higher as a relative portion of the uh, revenue than another similar company that would need to sink more money into its uh, into rehabilitation or building a mill. We've built it all already. Okay, so what should we as shareholders anticipate next? I mean, this sounds wonderful. Basically, depending on how you look at it, I think you've clarified that production is a tricky term, but it sounds to me like you're producing. And uh, what happens next? Next up should be the pouring of Dore bars. And that's a saleable product that can be shipped internationally. So 
that's our next goal. We have a we have our own forge. We can pour our own bars. So we have all the tools we need. And that should be happening, you know, soon or imminently. Okay. Well, Peter, congratulations on your outstanding news. And for more information and updates, please go to the Silver Bullet Mines website. Thank you, Peter. Thanks for your time.